Well, concerns are on the rise tonight among the authorities who patrol Maryland's waterways. Two boaters went missing just this week and neither have been found. And with summer on the way, first responders want safety to be a very much a concern among boaters. 11 News reporter Lowell Melzer has that story live from Middle River at the Volunteer Ambulance and Rescue Company. Lowell. Yeah, good evening. Stan, behind me is the home to Baltimore County's only water rescue team, and they actually perform a number of water rescues each year around the state. So, you know, if they are concerned, there has to be a real problem here. So far, they say they've done entirely too many rescues this year and fear things could get worse as we head into the summer. We're very concerned about what's going on right now. It's been a busy season so far for the Middle River Volunteer Ambulance Rescue Company, which is Baltimore County's only water rescue team. In the past week, two boaters are still missing. 40-year-old John Conrad, whose sailboat was found unoccupied near Hartmiller Island with only his dog on board, and 22-year-old Jacob Nolan, who went missing in the waters of the Susquehanna near Port Deposit after his canoe capsized. In both cases, investigators say there were small craft advisories in place. There's really no reason to take a small vessel out on the water when those are in no effect. Water rescue experts say to make matters worse, more and more inexperienced boaters will be hitting the water this summer simply because of cheaper gas prices. We're seeing a dramatic increase in water rescues uh, in this general in this general area, the Baltimore metropolitan area, due to the inexpensive vessels and also the uh, inadequate. Um, experience with the vessels. Now if you're heading out on the water this summer, rescue experts say it's important to go with a partner if you can, make a realistic plan and stick to it and always tell someone what your plans are going to be. And above all, check the weather forecast and if it looks bad, stay out of the water. And for more uh, safety information when it comes to boating, we've provided a couple of helpful links on our website, WBALTV.com, including a checklist that you can go over before heading out onto the water. We're live in Middle River tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.